What's up, OCC gang? At least we'll start in Walgreens. I don't know where we'll end up, but we're gonna go inside and see if we can find any deals. Okay, so as always, when you come into Walgreens, one of the first things you wanna do is always visit this area, grab an ad so you'll know how much everything is, and grab one of these books because this book is full of coupons. Yes, store coupons. So in addition to having newspaper coupons, you can use this at Walgreens for store coupons and save even more. You can use these with your newspaper coupons. So always pick up one of these books and it says that this one has over $500 in free coupons that you can use. Okay, so the first deal I want to get into is going to be on the Poise Active. Now the Poise Active is $5.99 here at Walgreens and they've already got it marked on the tags at my store. It says $5.99 less $2 coupon. So that means there's a $2 coupon in the Walgreens coupon book. Now I told you guys to get that when you come into the store so you should have it. And this is what it looks like. It's on page 77 of that book oh, 76 this is the one that we need it's on page 76 it's for two dollars off so that's what this means right here 5.99 and you would subtract that two dollar coupon that's right here on page 76 that brings you down to 3.99 for the poise active and that's the 18 count so that's pretty good but it gets even better and the plot thickens check this out we have a three dollar off coupon from the newspaper that will take an additional $3 off. So the product was $5.99. We're using the $2 coupon from the Walgreens book. That brings us to owe $3.99. And now we're gonna use this $3 off coupon, which will take an additional $3 off, leaving us to pay only 99 cents. That was pretty easy. That was the fast part. Let me say it again one more time for the newbies in the back that need to hear it again. So basically, you come into the store, you see these Poise Active pads. They're priced at $5.99. You have your Walgreens book. You'll give this coupon to the cashier. Let them scan this one on page 76. That's going to bring you down to owing $3.99. If you have your newspaper coupon, you'll hand that over as well. That'll leave you owing only 99 cents. And yes, to answer your question, you can use both together. Here at Walgreens, they allow you to use one store coupon with one manufacturer coupon. And you see right there, it says manufacturer's coupon. So you're allowed to use a store coupon. This is a Walgreens coupon with the manufacturer coupon. So we'll save $5 off of this item that is only priced at $5.99. I'm gonna get two and do this deal. Okay, so now I'm in line and I'm just gonna put these two up here. And remember, if you're doing this with me, make sure at first, make sure you scan your Walgreens card or put in your phone number. And after that, don't forget to hand over that coupon on page 76. And you can keep the book when you're done. They just need to scan it. And then don't forget, you're gonna need two of these poise coupons and that's gonna be it. Let's see what our total comes out to be. Okay guys, so let's take a look at my receipt. You can see that the poise for two boxes it came out to 11.98 there was no way i was going to pay that 11.98 for two but then four dollars came off and that was from using the walgreens coupon out of the book they deducted that two dollars twice so that took off four dollars total then the two three dollar poise coupons that i used both of those came off as you can see my total was 198 or 99 cents each so 99 cents per box plus tax so definitely not a bad price, but guess what? I have an idea. Okay guys, so I just had a good idea. I'm thinking it would be a great idea to open my Fetch Rewards app and scan my Walgreens receipt. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now, if you don't know what Fetch Rewards is, it's pretty much this awesome app that you can use to scan your receipts when you leave the store or even when you're in the store, cause I'm like totally still in the store. I did not leave yet. I still have my purchase in the cart, but you can scan after you get your receipt to get reward points back. And these points can earn you gift cards and tons of other stuff. And I'll tell you guys about that later. But right now I want to scan this receipt that I just got from Walgreens and I want to see if I can get any points back. So I'm on Fetch Rewards right now and all I'm going to do is click this icon and it's just going to bring up this kind of box right here which is what I'm going to use to line up my receipt. So let's just line up the Walgreens receipt and we want to get it as close as possible in those green lines. Perfect. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of my receipt and I'm going to submit it to Fetch Rewards and see how much money I can get back. 
Okay, so right now it says my receipt is uploading and check it out. Oh my gosh, I got 119 points back. Wow, so it's telling me I got money back just from buying the poise. That's so awesome. Wow, this was incredible. All I did was buy something that I was gonna buy anyway and fetch rewards it rewarded me just for making my purchase. Okay guys, so I'm still in Walgreens and I noticed when I was on my Fetch Rewards app that it said I had this offer available, 100% back in points for buying Kleenex wet wipes. And so I'm clicking it to get details. If you're doing this with me right now, go ahead and click my link below to sign up for Fetch Rewards and use the code one cubed to get 2000 points just for signing up. So you can do this with me because this is so awesome. Anyways, look at the details. It basically says this is absolutely free on the Fetch Rewards app. So go ahead and download yours now so you can do this with me and get these for free. Basically, what they're saying is that you have to go into the store and you're gonna need to buy these for a dollar ninety nine and you'll pay a dollar ninety nine for these Kleenex wet wipes but when you scan it on your fetch rewards app fetch rewards is going to give you your dollar ninety nine right back oh my gosh that's so amazing so it's pretty much free because you're getting your money back now if you have this coupon you can save even more. You don't need it to do this deal. You don't need any coupons to use Fetch Rewards. It's such a simple app to use. All you need is the app itself and you need to get yourself to a store and do the deals that are on the app, but they'll give you the money back. It's so simple. I'm gonna get these for $1.99 and I'm gonna pay $1.99 and Fetch Rewards is gonna give me my money right back. Okay guys, so I'm doing the Kleenex transaction right now. And I'm handing over my one coupon. Okay, so let's take a look at my receipt and see exactly what happened. Thank you. Okay, so I made my purchase on the Kleenex and it promises to give me 100% back in points. So I'm gonna go ahead and go try and redeem it. Let's see. So I'm looking right here. I'm just gonna hit that same camera icon that I hit the first time and I'm on this screen again and I'm just gonna scan my Walgreens receipt with the Fetch Rewards app. And that looks like a good picture. It's green so that means it's a go. And I'm just gonna submit my receipt and hopefully they take it. Let's see what's happening. It says your receipt is uploading. <gasps> oh my, what in the world just happened? It gave me back $2. It gave me back two dollars guys that's more than I thought it would give so I only paid oh my gosh let's take a look at my receipt I only paid 149 plus tax and they gave me back two dollars oh my gosh thank you fetch rewards this was an awesome deal I actually just made money using this app Hey guys, so I actually decided to kind of just leave Walgreens and go to the next store because I want to see how Fetch Rewards works at other stores. So I'm going to get out of here and see what other store I can go to. There's a CVS across the street. There's a Publix over there. I don't know. Some of you guys have Publix. There's a Winn-Dixie over there, Home Depot. I just want to see how many places I can use Fetch Rewards at. So let's go to another store and see what deals we can get. So I decided to come to Dollar Tree because of course everything's a dollar, but I want to see if I buy something that's a dollar at Dollar Tree, if I can scan on Fetch Rewards and still get any points back. Okay, so I'm here in Dollar Tree and I'm on the makeup aisle because we have coupons for makeup and I'm thinking since this stuff is cheap anyway, it's a dollar and we have these awesome coupons, why not use them while I'm in here trying to use my Fetch Rewards at the same time. So Wet n Wild mascara is a dollar because we're in Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar and we have this awesome coupon for $2 off any two Wet n Wild eye products. So I'm thinking I will get two of these mascaras that will come out to two dollars and i will use this two dollar off coupon which would make both of them absolutely free now the point of doing this this time is just to see if we could still get points back on fetch rewards and hopefully we will so i'm going to get a couple of these mascaras scan my receipt on fetch rewards and see if we actually get any points back so it's almost my turn i'm in line and i decided to get four mascaras and use two coupons remember each mascara covers two items so i'm getting two mascaras here this coupon will cover these two hopefully everything goes well and two mascaras here this coupon will cover these two and if everything goes like it's supposed to i'll still be able to scan my receipt on fetch rewards and hopefully i'll get something back 
Okay guys, so it's my turn and my items are gonna get ring up. So I'm just gonna put my coupons here so she'll know that I have them. Four items, two coupons, and we'll see what happens. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Guys, you won't believe it, check it out. My total came out to $4, but then after my coupons, I only had to pay 28 cents. Yes, 28 cents, and that was Florida tax. So everything was free. All four of my mascaras were free. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Everything was free, but I only had to pay tax. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scan our receipt on Fetch Rewards and see if we actually get anything back. Okay, so we're looking at my Dollar Tree receipt again and everything was free. The only thing I had to pay was tax, but let's go ahead and pull up the Fetch Rewards app and I'm gonna hit that scan button again. You guys should know that by now. That's what we do. And we're gonna scan this Dollar Tree receipt and see if I get anything, any points back. Any points at all would be great. I'm not picky, guys. Just give me some type of points. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I didn't spend anything at Dollar Tree except for tax and they gave me points back anyway. Oh my gosh, Fetch Rewards, this app is so amazing. I'm so glad I'm finally getting a chance to really explore this app. Okay guys, so we need to talk. First of all, look at my eyebrows. Do you see them? Do you see my eyebrows? I went to a place today and got my eyebrows microbladed. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but that's when they put like tiny tattoo cuts on your eyebrows to kind of keep the shape or something I don't know somebody kind of talked me into it anyways I did it so I didn't want to be like on camera or anything like that and I was kind of like um I don't know but I thought I would show you guys what it looks like and why I'm kind of hiding out because I got my eyebrows microbladed and the jury is still out on whether or not I really like it or not so anyway okay so a lot of you are probably like okay Erica so you did deals at Walgreens you did a deal at Dollar Tree but every deal that you do requires coupons and I don't have any trust me I got you OCC gang I got you I know that some of you don't have coupons you're just starting or you're a clearance shopper and coupons just aren't your thing so I'm here at Target because there's a deal that we can do that doesn't even require coupons now let's look up here on this board this is the deal that I'm looking for right here it says get a free $15 target gift card with a household essentials purchase of $50 or more so that means it can be laundry items household paper products cleaning stuff dish care food storage containers Ooh, that's pretty cool trash bags air fresheners and even pest control that just yeah the plot thickens so there's so many things we can do now you don't need any coupons to do this deal but if you have some use some because it'll get your total lower but bottom line spend fifty dollars on household stuff and get like fifteen dollars back in a target gift card that is a bomb deal and on top of that we are going to scan our receipt on fetch rewards now if I was doing this deal normally, I probably would use a ton of coupons, but just to show you guys that you can spend $50, get $15 back in a gift card, and get money back on Fetch Rewards, I'm going to bite the bullet and do this one with no coupons. So I'm going to go ahead and get this Scott 18 equals 72. Now it's not cheap, it's $13.99, but it's one of the partners on Fetch Rewards, so I know I'll get double the points for getting a Scott product, and also there's a dollar off coupon on Target's cartwheel, so I'll save a dollar. And you guys know, I always talk about like how annoying it is to have to change the roll on the toilet paper. So packs like this, 18 equals 72 mega rolls, definitely a yes for me. So I'm gonna add one of these to my transaction. So I'm looking at the Viva 8 equals 16. Again, it's a huge pack, so it's not gonna be cheap at all. I'm thinking this one is pretty expensive. Let's look. Yeah, it's like $12.49, so it's not cheap, but it's eight equals 16 and so it's like you won't run out of paper towels it's a good amount of paper towels on the roll and it's also one of the partners on fetch rewards so again i'll get a ton of points so i'm gonna get one of these and add it to my transaction and there's also an offer on cartwheel so i'm just winning all around and these are things that i definitely like so i'm gonna grab one of these and add it to my cart which puts me at 40 something dollars i only need to spend a few more dollars to get to that 50 dollar threshold 
Okay, so since I only have to spend about two, three-ish more dollars, I'm over here looking at these products. And since Cottonelle is one of the featured brands on the Fetch Rewards app, I think it will only be right if I got one of these packs of Cottonelle wipes. These are items that I use and it wouldn't be a waste of money at all. I think the Mickey Mouse ones are pretty cute and they're $2.39. These are $3.99 and that's a double pack. That seems like a really good value. And then this pack is $2.39. I think I'm gonna go with this one even though it costs a little bit more. I'm I might go with this one uh, maybe I should go with this to save money I don't know you guys will just have to see what I get at the checkout so I ended up getting a ton of random stuff I don't even know how much it's gonna come out to but hopefully it comes out to around $50 and I'll get a $15 gift card back and even more when I scan my receipt on fetch rewards so I want to show you guys a real-time view of me scanning my receipt on Fetch Rewards. I just left Target and now I kind of want to just scan my receipt so you guys can see how it looks. That's all. That's all it is. And now I'm just going to submit my receipt and see how many points that I'm going to get back. I got back 25 points on this transaction and I got a $15 target gift card so that's pretty awesome and if you're not using fetch rewards to earn gift cards here's a look at how you could be earning gift cards on fetch rewards you can scroll categories and once you choose a category check it out you can choose things like gifts you can choose home goods what about things like sweepstakes or giveaways you could even choose to give to a charity if you wanted to donate your points to charity there's so many things that you can do entertainment if you like to go to the movies amc adam fandango when you redeem your rewards on fetch rewards trust me you'll always be able to entertain yourself and if you like to shop you'll always have somewhere to shop whether it's clothes or shoes they've pretty much got a big variety if you haven't looked at these sections on the app yet go ahead and check them out you can even get visas or mastercards with your points and at the end of the day most people like to eat so you'll always be able to eat 